Because I'm a how-to kind of guy, I use all kinds of tools, not only in my career making YouTube videos, but also in my daily life. So I thought I'd share with you five of my favorite handy tool hacks. Kip K presents five handy tool hacks. Survival driver. This world is full of nuts and bolts too. And you may find yourself without a screwdriver. Just grab any device that plugs into the wall and you can use the plug as a screwdriver. Those spades on the plug are sturdy and they fit a wide range of screws and bolts. And you could even grab your cell phone wall adapter to get yourself out of a pinch. Hammer time. If you've ever had a project that required you to use these tiny nails, you know they can be difficult. Not only are they hard to hold, but when you get them in place, you have a good chance of banging your thumb. Coming to the rescue, the ordinary comb. And while I haven't used one of these in years, it'll be handy for this use. Just grab that tiny nail and let the teeth of the comb hold it in place and hammer away. Perfect. Oh, and while we're talking about hammers, grab a small neodymium magnet and on the butt of the hammer, apply some hot glue. Then apply the magnet to the hot glue. Now your hammer can hold those little nails and keep them all in one place. Needle Nosy. I spend a lot of time working on circuits and soldering wires and sometimes holding those two wires together can be a pain. If you don't have a clamp or a hemostat, you can make one out of an ordinary pair of needle nose pliers. Once you've got your wires or other objects held together, just take a rubber band and wrap it around the handle of the needle nose pliers. You've just made yourself an instant helping hand that'll get that soldering job done. Rust no more. Most hand tools are made out of steel. Now that can be good because they're strong, but it can also be bad because, as you can see here, they're magnetic. Anything that's magnetic can rust. And when you have a rusty tool, not only is it hard to work with, but it's ugly. Here's how to solve that problem. Most electronic devices and other things that you buy in stores contain these small little packages inside. They're called silica gel, and what they do is grab the moisture out of the air and prevent them from getting inside your electronics. Well, I've saved quite a few of these over the years because they come in handy. I just pop open the drawer of my toolbox and I put one in each drawer. This keeps the tools dry and the moisture out. Rust no more. Clipper Clamper. Well, as you know, I wear glasses, and when I'm working up close, I really need reading glasses to see small objects. But just like any pair of glasses, those arms get loose, and sometimes those little screws fall out. A tiny jeweler's screwdriver is about the only thing that'll work, but sometimes they're hard to get a grip on. Grab your nail clipper to solve this pesky problem. Just open up the nail clipper, twist it around, put the tiny screwdriver in place, and lock down on it. Now, you can get a good grip on this small screwdriver, and the screws are tight again. Well, as you can see, I work with a lot of tools every day. But the most important one, my shaver. And this isn't just any shaver, it's a shaver from Harry's. I've been telling you for some time now how great the shaving products are from Harry's. Their high-quality German-engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. They're half price of the big-name drugstore brands, and of course, they're shipped completely free to your door. Their starter kit is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. So support my show and head over to harrys.com and experience a new way to shave. That's harrys.com. I hope you enjoyed these five handy tool hacks and can put them to use in your life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.